and welcome. In this uh, quick video, I'm going to talk you through how to master the business basics in your private practice without spending a small fortune, okay? So I've got a few goals for this class. Goal number one, I want to teach you the three secrets to mastering the business basics of being in private practice, no matter what professional discipline um, you're in. Number two, uh, look at some common mistakes and how you can avoid them so that um, you don't do what I did. And of course, number three, which is to show you exactly what's possible for your business once you understand what some of these basics are. It's going to be so much fun. You know who I am now. But basically, when I started my practice, I didn't realize at the time that I had been winging it. Um, I didn't know what I didn't know. And it did actually cost me tens of thousands of dollars, probably even more. And not so funny, but it did lead to burnout. And that was something that I really, really struggled with. My business was in a place where I was booking up to 14 clients a day, um, praying that eight might turn up. Um, I was undercharging, I wasn't charging, I wasn't paying myself very much, I had to have a high volume of clients and I wasn't taking breaks or leave really because um, the business had been set up in such a way that if I wasn't there actually on the chair working with a client, it wasn't making any money. So the practice of the business was totally dependent on me to be there in the chair working with clients. Um, a lot has changed since then. I've been in private practice for almost 30 years now. I'm a private practice specialist. I was recently awarded Australian Business Coach of the Year for my work with private practice owners across different disciplines. Um, I'm a fur baby mum to you know who. I'm not going to say his name because you'll probably see him jumping around in the um, back of the screen anyway because he's up from his nap now. And when I'm not doing things like this, I love to be researching. I um, I'm looking at doing a second um, doctoral degree at the moment, looking at intuitive decision making for private practice owners using um, symbols, soul psychology, depth psychology, Jungian analysis and linking that all with um, card decks. So that's something that I'm really into at the moment. So I guess my journey into the heart of private practice has really been more than just a professional path. It's been really personal and of course, there have been moments that have been really challenging and where I felt very vulnerable. Um, and it's also brought up lots of aha moments and realizations for me. But I've also felt the weight of uncertainty and the sting of setbacks and the isolation that can come from navigating a private practice journey on your own, which is why I'm so passionate about working with um, solo private practice owners. I know the longing for a mentor, for someone that could, you know, demystify the complexities and just give you the answer or give you the guidance um, so that you could have a business that actually gives you what you want. For the longest time, I felt like I was a slave to my private practice and I didn't really feel like I was getting much love back. Um, and it's why Private Practice 101, the um, Certificate of Private Practice was actually created. It is for people who really, really, really love to help, but they struggle with the business side of things. Um, and also they need a roadmap. They just don't know where to start with their private practice, but they do know that they don't want to wing it. Um, so it's for anyone who has felt like really overwhelmed by the sheer volume of decisions that we've got to make as women in business. Um, and from all the things, choosing your niche, settling on a feed, deciding on what that is, um, dealing with uh, imposter syndrome, fear of failure, fear, fear of success, all the F words. <laughs> and that's exactly why I created the Private Practice 101 certification. Okay, and it works. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can see here we've got um, previous students that um, put their fees up and had two new clients call and booking on the new fee. Um, somebody else booking in new clients. Um, other one making transitions with clients. Somebody else opened and had their first session today with their first client went really well and the client booked two more sessions on the spot. All those kinds of things, right? So sharing that not to brag but to show you what's possible for you too, okay? 
So the three, you can call them secrets, you can call them keys, let's just call them insights. Um, but the three insights that I want to share with you today are really that your success in your private practice requires more than strategies. So as a private practice specialist, I work one on one with women business owners. And a lot of the time they come to me and they say, just tell me what to do, like tell me the next thing. And sometimes it's not just about the next thing. Um, a lot of the time it's about the inside out. And I believe in this so much that many years ago, I trademarked the phrase business success from the inside out. So that was where the saying came from. Lots of people use it now and I'm really proud to have made that contribution. Um, I also will give you some insights that you can use to help you find a way to create a practice um, your way on your terms that does feel easy and simple because um, it's going to be in alignment with both your values and also your shadow values. So it means recognizing things like the dreaded Dunning-Kruger effect and being ready and willing to learn new ways of doing old business things. And the last insight is that part of the reason why perhaps you're feeling stuck or maybe just don't know where to go, what to do next, or you're in maybe analysis paralysis is because you just don't know what to do. You don't know, is it something, do I need to shift something I'm thinking? Do I need to trust more? Do I need to surrender more? Do I actually need another course or another business strategy or another tool or another process? What am I missing? So this is going to solve that problem for you, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> So insight one is to really elevate your practice with more than just strategy. And it's by embracing mindset shifts that will guarantee implementation and also drive results. So most private practice owners think that they just need the next strategy, the next tool, the next process, and then all good things are going to happen in their practice, right? We see this all the time, don't we, in the online communities, people saying, uh, when it comes to marketing and finding clients, I've got a website, I've got a blog, I'm on um, TikTok, I'm on YouTube, I've got podcasts, I've got newsletter, I've got this, I've got that. Nothing's working. What else am I not doing? They think it's something's missing that they're not doing. So they're constantly looking for answers out there, right? In the external. And what happens is they're kind of stuck, trapped in a cycle of being a student, constantly learning, thinking that um, they haven't quite arrived yet. It's like they're constantly chasing something. They're always feeling like they don't know enough. And so what happens is um, many of them can buy the strategy or they'll pay someone to teach them the thing um, and they'll, they'll learn it or they'll get it, they'll get access to the course. And I see this too with even some of my students. Sometimes they'll um, buy things and then they just don't ever implement them. And so then um, they go on to the next thing um, and they'll buy that next thing and not implement it. They'll buy the next thing and not implement it. So it keeps them in that cycle. Um, and so sometimes people who are in that position might say, well, I don't understand how something like private practice 101, like your certificate course would help me, for example. So let me tell you a quick story. Um, for the longest time, I struggled with um, winging it. I really did. I had no idea what I was doing um, and I needed some kind of guidance. And I had been saying to a girlfriend of mine, her name's Kim, I said, I've just bought another course. And she was telling me, why are you buying all these courses? And, you know, when she said that, it was like, I realized in that moment that it's not that I don't know how. There was something else that was going on. And that's what I mean when I say over here that the penny dropped. Um, it was that I needed to shift something within myself. I needed to shift my mindset. I needed to see that I was worthy enough, that I was good enough, that I had the skills, that I had the knowledge, all those kinds of things. But I also needed to shift some other mindset stuff. Now, um, you know, if you're on the call yesterday, we went into this in a lot of detail, didn't we? It was like CEO mindset, employee mindset, and therapist mindset. So that's what I was going through all, uh, all at that time. Um, and when I did, all of a sudden, boom, everything just kind of dropped in, the clarity dropped in. And I really did feel like I was on top of the world with this realization and everything just started to fall into place from there. And I was, I got really excited about the practice again. And I really started to see myself as the first time in a very long time as the owner of a business 
was really weird, but it was also so liberating. If you've ever had that moment where you feel like, ah, oh, the owner of a business, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. But it wasn't only me that went through this, right? Um, again, more student sort of outcomes, little snapshots from our community as somebody sharing that they got their first inquiry call, someone getting their branding finalized, someone else sharing they got more inquiry calls, um, they got new referral pathways set up. Um, people feeling like, you know, I can do this now. I've got this now. Um, people moving into their offices, people leaving paid employment, moving into their private practices, um, you know, uh, people making changes to their psychology today profile and getting inquiries. So it's so, 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 so good. Now, you might be thinking, no, I really think I just need to know how. I really think you just need to give me more of the strategies and that I'm going to be all right, Brooklyn. But the thing is that your subconscious mind is responsible for what you experience in your life and your business. And without having the right mindset, you'll never see what's available or what's possible. If you say to yourself things like, we've got a cost of living crisis and clients can't afford me, that's going to subconsciously affect how you show up and how you market and you will start to attract clients that can't afford you this is how it works and many of you are psychologists mental health social workers counselors you understand about the reticular activating system you understand about the prefrontal cortex you you know all of this so you're not I'm not teaching you anything new here. Whatever you say to yourself, whatever you believe to be true is what you're going to see is going to reinforce that belief. And that's going to be your experience of reality. And that's why we can have two practices that are in the same location, maybe both in a rural area, both in similar niches. One's positively thriving, the other one's not. They've both got the same setup and the same tools and the same systems and the same processes. But the only thing that's different is one believes no one can afford her services, but the other one believes the right people will find a practice and they, they will pay because they value the service. She's the one that's fully booked. So understand that it's not only the strategy, you also need support around your mind. And unless you've got somebody that gets to know you, that um, can be on the outside looking in like a teacher, a trainer, a coach, something like that. It's going to be very hard for you to see where you might be tripping yourself up because of the very real fact that you have to agree with me here, I'm sure, we can't see our own blind spots. By definition, we cannot see our own blind spots. That's why it's so helpful to have a fresh set of eyes on something. Some of you might be thinking, well, I'm a therapist and I already know this stuff about limiting beliefs and about mindset and everything it just doesn't work. So for you, I would say, well, do you know what? I get it. And as a therapist, we often discard the very tools and processes that we do believe in and we are so passionate about and we share them with our clients every single day, right? But think about what's going to happen when you allow yourself to actually try them and to get some support and some accountability to do so, because that's when everything can be different. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you say things um, out loud like, oh, I help my clients with this all the time. I didn't think to do this for me. That's why something like um, this can be super duper helpful. You might also be wondering, well, other courses on private practice or business cost a lot more than yours and they don't focus on mindset. Mindset just feels like fluff and it's a waste of time. Um, I want results now. So I want you to know that I'm hearing you. I get what you're saying. I'm hearing you loud and clear. But as a therapist, you have to appreciate that the mindset work is what's going to speed everything up for you in terms of getting more results. OK, you could have the best business strategies in the world, but if your mindset isn't where it needs to be, like if you're approaching the business as an employee mindset or as a helper mindset, you're going to take that much longer to get where you want to be in the business. OK, it's very, 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 very different. And you don't just wake up one day and know how to have the mindset of a business owner. It's something that you need to learn. What's going to happen is you're most likely to bring familiar and old ways of thinking, like from when you were working for somebody else. And you're going to try and use that to run a business. It's not going to work. Or perhaps you um, uh, bring in like the 
helper mindset. You just want to help everybody, love everybody, make sure everybody's got equal access and all these kinds of things. You can't run a business from that mindset. You need to be able to balance it. There's got to be um, a balance between the strategy and how we're approaching the business, what we're believing to be true. Whatever you believe is what you're going to experience in the business. Insight number two um, is really about how you're going to create success in your practice without feeling overwhelmed, right? Because there's a lot. I've been there. I work with so many of you who are in it. You're wearing all the hats, right? You trained to be a healer or a helper or a therapist or a practitioner. You were not trained in marketing, in business management, in advertising, in website design, um, in email marketing, in social media marketing. You weren't trained in any of that, right? This was all just kind of coming at you once you decided to start a business. And now you've got all these plates and balls that you're trying to juggle in the air. Um, and, you know, things come crashing down sometimes, don't they? And it's really exhausting. So here's what I hear a lot, like um, that you're doing all of the things. But the thing is that no one ever taught you how to start, run or grow a private practice. In fact, even if you've had other businesses, right, only some of those skills are transferable. You know, I talk about this um, client of mine, her and her partner used to have a tyre factory, right, in Melbourne. They had a tyre factory in Melbourne really successful tire factory um, and she decided that she was going to do something for herself and that was to be become a counsellor so she went and did the course um, and then she was going to open up her private practice so she just took her knowledge from running the tire business the tire factory to private practice and it didn't work it didn't work because general marketing courses and um, general ways of running business just don't apply to private practice. So even if you've got a loved one, brother, sister, parent, partner, who's running their own successful business, um, you, only some of what they're doing will be relevant to private practice. We are in the health and wellness space. We have different legislation that governs what we can and can't do, what we can and can't say, how we can and can't market, how we can and can't advertise, all those kinds of things, right? We work with really vulnerable clients, many of whom have complex mental health conditions. So when we're trying to start our business and we're just like flying by the seat of our pants, we're totally winging it, or uh, we're listening to everybody else's opinion and we're trying to do what they're saying and it doesn't work, it's going to feel overwhelming and defeating and really exhausting, okay? It, it really will. And, you know, um, one of the things too that I hear, um, this is really common, is when I talk to people about their conversions and getting clients and bookings and things like that, we talk about making sure that you've got um, booking buttons on your website. And people often say, oh, I'm just not good with tech. Oh, Brooklyn, can you please do my website for me? I'm really bad with the tech and things like this. So um, let me explain a couple of things here. It was the same for me, right? So I've been in my private practice for ages. Everything was smooth sailing, decided I was going to get out of where I was and I wanted to have my very own bricks and mortar structure. And with that came a lot of learning. It was a massive, massive learning curve. In fact, I was doing everything by myself. I was constantly having to stretch myself. Up until that point, I didn't have a website, never heard of Canva, um, didn't know anything about Microsoft Office. Um, I mean, what ever happened to Clippy, the paperclip? Anywho, um, every time I go to write a letter, like Clippy would just appear. Anyway, he's gone now, I think. Um, I had to set up Haloxy. I had to do all these things. The list just went on and on and on. And I realized that I was spending so much time like trying to see clients, but then there was all this other time in my personal time where I was working on the business. So there was always a lot of learning and there probably is for you too. I was always feeling under pressure, like I was in a real rush, like I was chasing something, like I was binge learning. And every time I felt like I just understood something or I'd mastered it or I'd been able to nail it or something like that and I could have a rest, I could have a breather, something else would pop up. It was like going to the Melbourne show and playing, playing whack-a-mole. Like every time I hit something, something else would pop up over there and I'd have to be trying to hit that. It was like things always popping up. But what really worked for me was 
taking things step by step and breaking them down into really small manageable pieces right without the fluff i don't like fluff um if you, you know when i work with my private clients say can i call it as i see it i like i'm a very no bs person i just want to like dive straight in i want to cut to the chase i if you and I met out in the real world, I'm probably not going to have small talk with you. I'm just going to cut right to the chase. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I knew that if that's how I operate, it must be how other people operate as well. Um, and that's the approach that I used to create the Private Practice 101 certificate. Um, it was the idea was to take this one thing that all practice owners needed and say, well, instead of just telling them, go and do this, I wanted to say, you need to go and do this, but I've broken it down for you into small steps and I've made your template and I've got a resource for you and I've got a training for you that doesn't go for an hour, it goes for five minutes. And I know that you're probably already working, you're already super busy, you're already studying and you don't have time to do all of the stuff. So it's all going to be in a special portal for you where you can dip in and dip out. So current students work through the program in their cancellations or after hours or on weekends or on breaks and things like that. Um, so everything is just the essentials only, no distraction, no fluff, no rabbit holes. And it's because it's short bite sized training with just the basics and just the essentials that you need to know, plus continuously available help. 24 hours, um, five days a week, you can ask questions and they'll be answered within 24 hours every single time, okay? I might miss the odd one here and there, but generally I'm pretty good and I've got coaches in that community as well that will also respond and answer so that you know that this can work for you. So you get a course that also having personalized support as and when you need it. So you need an overwhelm free zone and this gives you that overwhelm free zone okay but it wasn't only me that used to feel overwhelmed and likes a no fluff zone in fact the no fluff zone and having access to personalized support when you need it too has led to other things happening so um uh, people getting their first um clients um you know a people in private practice for 18 months um things been on a sharp learning curve but now it's all growing and it's doing really well somebody else um leaving their job and starting their private practice you know somebody else um similar thing right somebody else um got further growth from the number of referrals right so everybody doing so well building a website gone live first client books in amazing then we've got insight number three which is how to create success in your private practice your way on your terms without you needing to wing it okay so here's what i hear a lot people say oh you can't rely um oh here's what i hear a lot people will say to me oh um yeah i was asking in the groups you know what i should do about my marketing i was i was asking other people and it's like this constant listening to the white noise taking it on all that kind of stuff but here's what i want you to know you can't rely on the advice of others no matter how well intentioned it is unless that person has the knowledge the experience and the receipts to back it up right they need to be able to give you the receipts to back it up um what happens sometimes is I will even be working with clients and I'll say, oh, my supervisor's been helping me with my marketing. I'll say, okay, great. Um, so why are you here with me today? How can I help you? And I'll say, I don't have any clients. <laughs> um, and turns out the supervisor has not done a private practice marketing course. The supervisor, when we go look at their website, is undercharging for sessions, um, maybe has their own money stories. And this person is now trying to guide a supervisee about how to get clients for their practice. And now the poor person sitting in front of me going, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I thought I was getting help. I thought I could trust it, but I can't. What's going on? You can't rely on what other people are saying. Other people want to help you. They really genuinely, most of them want to help you and they want to be helpful, but they just can't give you the guidance you need if they don't know, right? If they're not fully booked, 
if they're undercharging, if they've got mindset stuff going on, they're not in a great position to be able to guide you and help you, okay? And, you know, this is another thing that I hear, you know, I ask people in the communities and they all tell me something different and I just don't know what to do and I don't know which way to turn, okay? It's not uncommon. In fact, it happens a lot more than many of us would like to admit. Um, there seems to sometimes be, you know, this thing about, oh, we don't have to pay for anything. You know, we should just go get the free things, get the free things. And you know what? Some people will give you good value for, for free things, but most people don't because they want to leave a big enough gap so that you've got to buy their thing. Um, do you know what I'm trying to say? So you've got to be astute you've got to be discerning and you've got to make sure that whatever advice you're receiving is something that's verifiable that can work okay but again just be mindful it's not always about the strategy or the next strategy or the thing you're not doing or the thing that's missing a lot of the time it's the other side of the coin is mindset okay so it happened to me too and that's what I'm saying. You're not alone. It's not uncommon. In fact, I used to also go into Facebook groups that I was a member of and I'd say, well, what did you do in this situation? Or how did you handle that? Lots of people comment and I would feel immediately like a fish out of water, totally out of my depth, vulnerable, exposed. Um, imposter syndrome would come up again. And then I would do one of two things. I would either take the easiest path, the thing that was going to be the quickest, or I just wouldn't take any action at all, right? And often these things didn't work and they caused more harm to my business than good. For example, when I introduced my fees, after I had been bulk billing for eons, I'd never charged for 15, 16 years, I never charged a single client a cent. And then somebody in a Facebook group said to me, you should be charging money. You've got a PhD, you should be charging money. And life happened and I found myself in a position where now I had different rent and I had different responsibilities and different obligations and I thought yeah I do need to be charging money but I felt that sick about it that I started charging $15 for a session one five fifteen dollars and it was possibly the most traumatic thing that I ever did. My business took a nosedive instantly. I lost nearly 100% of my referrers. Um, doctors were my main referrers because I was a psychologist back then. I had doctors fax me. You can go onto my social media and you can go back and see the actual faxes. I'm pretty sure I put, put them up. Of um, Doctors hand wrote fax notes to me saying that they were going to take me down because who did I think I was charging for um, psychology services? I was charging $15, which at that point, I think a pack of smokes was more than $15. Um, but I copped it and I lost everything all just because I followed advice from a, from that I heard in a Facebook group from somebody I respected and I thought they must know what they're talking about. But I never went to learn, well, how do you do that? What's the process for that? You know, what, what are these kind of things, right? I froze. And it's for that reason that the Private Practice 101 Certificate has really small bite-sized trainings in a particular order. You do this thing, then that thing, then this thing, and that thing, all mapped out for you. It's a total roadmap. So you know exactly what to do. So if you have to raise a fee, you don't have to lose your business and your sanity like I did. Okay, you don't have to go through that traumatic experience like I did. I have mapped it all out for you. This is what you do. This is what you raise it to. This is how you tell your current clients. This is how you tell your future clients. This is how you implement it. This is, it's all there step by step by step by step by step. Plus, you're going to get help from experts in our community. Um, and also, the certificate course is updated regularly at no extra cost to you. Okay. The strategies in the um, PP101 certificate are time tested and they are proven. This course is going into its fifth year now. We've had hundreds and hundreds of people go through it and start their businesses successfully. There's no reason why you can't do It's all very, very exciting. And some more proof here. Um, you know, somebody else put 
a client story on their website um, and really happy about it, feeling really good. Somebody else, um, you know, got booked out, fully booked. Um, somebody else got two businesses on retainers now for their EAP work, okay? Um, I was congratulating somebody else over here. Um, she was doing really well and she said, oh, thanks. And by the way, I've got another one who asked me to contact them and make a booking, you know, so now I'm going to have even more. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. I added another child client to my roster this week. Loads of comments on the posts. Um, a doctor who's now referring um, what's turning out to be dream clients, somebody else getting inquiries um, from their website, okay, um, after 7 p.m., right? It's so, 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 so good. This is what I mean. Like when you've got somebody that can say to you, okay, here's what you need to do. If you want to create a successful private practice, do this first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Here's how to do it. Here's the template. Here's the process. Follow this roadmap. Then all of this stuff starts to happen, right? Somebody else um, signed uh, somebody on an EAP retainer package. So good, okay? So let me ask you a question now. Are you starting to see how easily you could get the business side of your practice up and running smoothly, okay? Avoiding some of those things that we just talked about. So we've covered a few insights. The first one was that your success in the private practice is not going to be only about the strategy. It's also going to be about the mindset, how you feel about it, what you're bringing to the business, your attitude, all those kinds of things, a growth mindset. You're not going to be able to have a successful private practice and start and grow a successful business if you're in the mindset of blinkers on, right? That's not going to work. Do you know any successful business owners that have the blinkers on? No, your hairdresser doesn't have the blinkers on. They're always looking for the next opportunity. Um, do you know what I mean? Like that's just one example because I'm thinking about my hair as I look in the mirror now. I've got curls starting to poke out everywhere because anyway. But I want you to understand like it's going to be a combination of the two. Find a way to create your pro your practice without the overwhelm. And this means recognising the Dunning-Kruger effect. So if you don't remember what that is, the Dunning-Kruger effect is when you know a little bit about something and then you feel really confident and you feel like you know everything, right? And people will go off like that and then the business just kind of takes a nosedive. Then there are other people who get a little bit of knowledge and they think they know enough, they think they know everything, and then somebody else says, oh, but did you know about this, did you know about this? And they say, no, no, and then they go and learn and then they realise, oh, my gosh, there's so much here that I didn't even know was a thing. That's done in Kruger effect, right? You don't want to be the first person who says, oh, starting a business is just you get your colours, you get your logo, you know, maybe you get a niche and you make a website and then, oh, we, it's angels and we wait for the clients to come no don't be that person be the person that says what else do I need to be aware of what else do I need to know and how can I find out this information and then insight number three was that part of the reason why you feel stuck is because you just haven't known what to do because you don't know what you don't know and that's where someone like me a specialist who knows all the steps I can quickly have a look at your business I can quickly have a look at your website and I can see straight away, oh, that's missing, that's missing, there's a gap there, there's a gap there, there's a gap there. But if you're having a look at it, you're probably looking at it going, my website's really good, I just don't know why I don't have any clients. My, my business model's really good, I just don't know why I have any clients. You don't see what you haven't been trained to see, what you don't know to look for. That's the value of having someone like me and someone like the experts in the course help you okay so if you want to take things to the next level for your private practice maybe that's getting started maybe it's further developing what you've already begun or maybe it's refining what you've already put into place the certification program could be exactly what you need it's the only program of its kind um, 
as I said, this is now going into its fifth iteration. So it's been around for a long time. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it so much. Um, I've recently been updated, as I said, you get audio trainings, exclusive templates, on-demand access. So one of the things people say is, I can't do a course because I'm studying, or I can't do a course right now because I can't commit, or I can't do a course right now because um, I work full time, you know, things like that. This course was designed for you. <laughs> That's why we've got the on-demand access. You don't, you don't have to turn up anywhere at any given time. This is all designed to work in and around your schedule. Why? So that you get all the help that you need, okay? It's um, not only a roadmap, it's also all about teaching you exactly what you need to get the business started or develop or to develop it or to improve it if it's already there but it's not yet getting you the results um, by teaching you about business basics so you can create the business that you want your way on your terms in alignment with the things that are meaningful and that matter to you without you getting lost in the white noise and the and the overwhelm okay so inside you're going to get a proven program to starting, developing, improving and growing your private practice. It's a proven program with results. You've already seen pages and pages and pages of results, right? We have twice a month live coaching calls. So there's no pressure. You don't have to rush through this course. Lots of people buy the course and then they sit on it for six months or nine months or something like that and they just do little bits here and there. Other people will buy the course and they'll knock it over in four weeks or something. It's different for everybody, but you've got lifetime access to it. And um, twice a month, we have a call where you can come on, you get some coaching, ask you what's going on, what do you need help with, and we fix it on the call together, okay? You get coaching. There's exclusive resources that you can't get anywhere else. Um, each of the modules, there's a bunch of modules, I think six or eight modules, um, has a certificate for OPD or CPD. Plus you get your overall certificate when you pass the entire course. And also when you do that, you get to use a trust logo, which you can um, use to market the practice. And it shows that you're a certified private practice, okay, which helps build confidence and trust um, with clients. Here's some more evidence of what other students have been experiencing okay um somebody said get out of town change the wording on my website after i did it had the most amazing intake session ever okay somebody else said um so excited opened the doors to private practice and knew that they had two new clients booked in on their very first day of business following this program but as at the end of the day, she had a third new client booking, okay? And on the Thursday, she was going to find out if she had a fourth. Imagine being able to open your private practice to paying clients right from day one and knowing that it's growing, okay? Um, somebody else um, had a new client that was seeking EMDR, EMDR, um, didn't care about the Medicare, just wanted to work with a client, okay? Um, somebody else, seven new clients booked in with without having mental health care plans. Um, the diary started to empty and already it's starting to refill. So good, okay? Um, what else? First client, you know, stuff like that. Loving the value that they get with the course and the program. So... The private practice certificate um, course works for anybody, any allied health practitioner. So we have got physios, chiros, osteos, speeches, psychologists, mental health social workers, social workers, um, counsellors, everybody, right? If you're an allied health professional and you want to start your business or you're already in business but it's not working and you need to fix it, this is the program for you, okay? It works for people who didn't get results with other programs. It works for people that are coachable, meaning you want to learn, okay? You want to learn. You're hungry to learn. You're going to go and implement things. And, of course, for people that actually implement what the information that they're giving, right? Um, 
there are, there are reasons why people don't get started. The number one reason that holds people back from getting started in something like enrolling in the certificate is a belief that they can do it on their own. And for some people, that's absolutely true. But they're the minority, they're the outliers. As a private practice coach, as a clinical supervisor, as an endorsed supervisor, as a business mentor, as an award-winning business coach and specialist for private practice owners, I can tell you hand on heart that it's the people that try and do it on their own that end up needing the most help later on. You can avoid that. Here's what you're going to get when you enroll in the certificate, right? You're going to get a proven course that helps you start and grow your private practice by teaching you the um, basics of business and how to master them, okay? The total value of the course is $5,775. Now you can see this yourself. I'll show you the sales page in a moment, but that's not all. You're also going to get some additional things. So I want to give you um, the first step offer formula. So this replaces those free discovery calls and gets you um, more bookings in your diary more quickly. I'm also going to give you an automated bookings process that you can use via your Instagram and your Facebook if you really want to use Instagram and Facebook. Um, it will start generating inquiries, referrals and bookings, yes, in your sleep. You're going to use it to do two things. One will be to increase revenue and turnover for your practice and the other one will be to grow your audience. So you've got a pipeline of clients that are going from never hearing from you to hearing of you, to getting to know you more, to wanting to book a session, right? That's how we create that consistent flow of inquiries. I'm also going to do a message in a website writing intensive so that you can um, increase conversions on your website. So with these tools in your pocket, you're going to be able to get money coming into the practice a lot more quickly. It's going to save you a lot of time because you're going to get access to tools, templates, resources that I know work because I've been refining them over the last five years with hundreds and hundreds of clients, as you've seen uh, from all their little snapshots there. And of course, you can get your life and hopefully sanity back. <laughs> um, and then there are some additional goodies as well. So um, there are also things that you're going to be able to get rid of because you have these tools. So you'll be able to stop doing the free discovery calls that people either don't show up to or don't book in after um, or maybe don't even book. You're going to be able to stop posting to crickets, like stop being on social media, stop being in all of the places and not having it work out, that's going to shift for you. Um, you'll start getting more inquiries, bookings and referrals from your social media using the um, process that I'm going to um, show you. Plus, you can grow your audience. So you've got that backlog of future potential clients. They're ready in the wings and you won't need to worry anymore about why the website's not converting either because you'll know exactly what you should and shouldn't be doing when it comes to writing your copy. Okay, headache gone questions gone okay be able to just put it up there and then exhale because you'll know it's done okay when i got started like many of you i had no idea what i was doing i was just making it up as i went along and doing it really badly okay it cost me a lot of time cost me money that i didn't have i went into debt i put money on credit cards to pay for things it was horrible of course i lost my confidence and my imposter syndrome kicked in and i'm somebody who's got like all the degrees i've got a bachelor's i've got a graduate diploma i've got a master's i've got a phd qualified coach qualified energy coach spiritual coach results coach business coach mentor super supervisor, first APRA supervisor in the whole state of Victoria, you name it. I, I had all the things and I still messed it up. And that is exactly why I created the certificate because I don't want you to go through what I went through. It's not required anymore. Things have changed and now it's easier than ever to master the business basics of your practice. And that's exactly what this certificate course will do. Okay. You don't have to worry anymore about missing things wondering what you're not doing or what you're missing. You don't have to wonder if you're making the right business decisions anymore. You can stop second guessing your pricing. You can stop second guessing how you're structuring your services and your business. You don't have to spend time searching for things, searching for resources anymore, especially from weird places like Google land and YouTube. Everything's here from a doctor of psychology, from a private practice specialist, 
I've got the things, I'm giving you the things and you'll be able to stop comparing yourself and your progress to other people around you, right? It's not even good luck to them, but we're staying in our lane, okay? All right, so you might be thinking, look, I can't do it, Brooklyn, it sounds great, but I can't do it because I'm too busy, I'm working. But what I want you to know is that, as I mentioned before, I created this program for the workers, okay? Private Practice 101 certificate is designed to fit into and around your current schedule. You don't need to find extra time. You do it when it works for you. It's entirely self-paced. You go at your own pace. There's no comparing yourself to others. There's no, oh, she's on module four, I'm still on module one. No, we don't do that here. You all go at your own pace. Um, you got your own speed. You've got clear, short, simple, easy to follow, concise steps so that it makes the most of the limited amount of time that you've got available, all right? So what you're going to get is you're going to get that proven program and you're going to get the first step of a formula, okay? Um, the first step of a formula replaces the discovery calls. It's going to help you get paid inquiries. People will pay to inquire with your private practice about whether or not you can help them and they can work with you, okay? The first step here we go, it's going to replace the discovery calls and it's going to build your audience and it's going to get your clients in the diary. You're going to walk away with a brand new mini offer that actually gets you clients. It's a really easy process. Um, you're going to leave with your offer created and you'll be set up so that you can start adding more clients to your calendar, okay? This is one of the bonuses that you get when you sign up. Um, you're also going to get my automated bookings process. So I know that you're so busy. So I'm going to make life easier for you and teach you how to automate your bookings. Um, and it's not with Alexi, okay? You're going to walk away with one or two automations installed on your social media. We're going to um, do it in the training. Even if you're not tech savvy, that can automatically build your audience and so grow your audience. Plus, it can automatically build inquiries and build bookings, okay? I call it automated bookings. It's one of the bonuses that you'll get when you join. And, of course, you're also going to get help from me with messaging and writing, okay? So we're going to do um, a website and message intensive. So maybe you've got a website or maybe you're thinking, what am I going to put on my website? This is going to help you. If you've got a website and it's not getting you, you know, between three and six inquiries, you know, also called leads, if it's not getting you that each week, it's not a good website. There's stuff um, that needs to be addressed and corrected and improved. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It'll be something to do with your message or your copy. So we're going to do that together. Um, so you're going to get all these things. You've got your program, you've got your um, bonus one, bonus two, bonus three. This is all coming in at just over $6,000, okay? So obviously I'm not going to charge you that. <laughs> I'm not going to charge you that. But if I would charge you that, and all this did was show you exactly how to get the business sorted out in your private practice, like give you systems to get clients consistently, would it be worth it to you? Probably. If all it did was show you how to master the basics of business in your private practice so you never had to worry about it again, so you, you didn't have to ask anybody for their opinion or their thoughts, you didn't have to worry about gaps or missing pieces, if all it did was help you to have the peace of mind that no, you hadn't missed any crucial step in setting up the business or in growing it and you can stop feeling like you have to keep looking for the next thing, whatever that might be. And if all it did was help you to stop feeling like you're missing something and feel like you weren't good enough or didn't know enough, would it be worth the $6,000? Probably yes. So I had two choices, okay? I could make it cheap or I could make it valuable. Here's what you're going to get. You're going to get the program, the first step of a formula, the automated bookings bonus and the copy intensive, which is over $6,000. But for the next 48 hours, so until 5 o'clock Thursday, it's $999, okay? After 5 o'clock Thursday, it's $1,500. It's $1,497, okay? So you're saving 
30 odd percent. For the next 48 hours, you can get it for less than a thousand dollars. After 48 hours, it's going to be almost $1,500. Okay. You can pay it in full. There's payment plans. I think the payment plan is $250 times four. I think there's a payment plan for six payments or something about $160. You can go and see for yourself, but it's there. So now you have two choices, right? You can either keep being stuck or you can finally master the business basics in your private practice. Okay. Not have to worry about things anymore. What do you want to do? You can keep being stuck. Keep winging it. Keep trying to do it on your own. Maybe this is your second or your third or your fourth time coming along to my um, private practice workshop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you can keep on this. It's your choice, right? You can, you can keep doing what you're doing. But you know what? The people who do the course, they're probably a lot further along, a lot quicker. Or you could finally master the business side of your private practice. And there's a guarantee as well. It's called my success together guarantee. So I know that stepping into the world of private practice um, or like trying to sort out your private practice, see where the gaps are, fill holes and things like that can seem really isolating, especially as a solo practitioner, but you're not alone. In fact, with the Private Practice 101 Certificate course, I promise it's my commitment to you. You can ask any of my students that you get my support unwavering until you've confidently opened your doors or you've witnessed in, an increase in your bookings, okay? I'm here for as long as you need to provide continuous guidance, helpful advice that's personalised to you and lots of resources that are going to... Um, help ensure that your journey with the business side of things is smoother and of course successful together you and i can tackle each and every challenge that comes up for you with your business of course and we're going to celebrate each of your milestones as well when you achieve them because you will your aspirations your dreams and your goals for your business are my commitment and i'm not going to rest until you've mastered the basics of your business okay i'm here for it I'm in for the long haul. As long as you keep continuing to show up and you're doing the work, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to help you, okay? I want to see you succeed. I want you to be one of these people here. <sighs> if I can find them. I want you to be one of these people, right? That's what I really, really want for you. Okay, so... The real question is, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to go and check it out? Even if it only takes, even if it only does half of what I've claimed it, will, it can do today, it'll pay for itself. Um, for some people, it's taken like a couple of weeks. For others, a couple of months. Um, for other people, it's a couple of days. They made a change here, a change there, and they made that investment back. There's no reason why you can't either, okay, especially knowing that there's help. Now, there's also some um, quick offer bonuses, some limited bonuses. So for the first 30 people that join, you're going to get a money mindset intensive with me. We're going to work through money archetypes. We're going to help you identify um, um, the dominant patterns of thinking in your business that are affecting your business and your life when it comes to money. And I'm going to help you um, set money boundaries, create a money breakthrough, rewrite your money story, those kinds of things, right? Um, that's included for the first 30 people that join, okay? And as if that wasn't enough, only for the first 10 people that join, you're going to get extra stuff, right? Um, you're also going to get, um, where is it? For the first 10 people, you're also going to get from me 15 minutes with me one-on-one -on -one, where we will go over um, anything that you need to talk about that you want clarity on in your private practice, okay? Um, we're going to have that conversation together. Now, if you've been in my world for a little while, you'll know how valuable that is um, because my time is so, 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 so precious. So, yes, I'm giving away time with me 
one-on-one. -on -one. It will be recorded for you. So you've got it. You can refer to it later on. You're going to think about what you want to ask. Really ask the good questions so that you get the most from that time together. Okay. So you get all these things. It's just 999 for the next 48 hours. If you come in after 5 p.m. on Thursday, it's going to be 1497. And if you say on Friday, oh, I meant to get it yesterday, can I? No, you've missed out. You won't get it at the night at the 999 after 5 o'clock on Thursday. Okay. So um, this is what it looks like here. Okay, you can see the early bird pricing ends in two days and three hours so what about eight o'clock on thursday sorry not five this is what it looks like we've got the early bird offer here i'll give you the link to this but you can see it all for yourself you just have to type in up the top uh, sales.brooklynstorm.com forward slash certificate of private practice course I will give you the link as well there's community on-demand training live calls resource vault um, it's not a membership it's a course okay and these are um, some of the resources that you're going to get money flow workbook mindset journal um, money survival guide how to release fear and doubt in your private practice ceo mindset training and empowerment meditation um, imposter syndrome workbook vision to action therapist planner private practice planner fee schedules um, aftercare program training somebody was asking about that today brand messaging how to name your practice the ultimate guide to branding niche clarity workbook employee attendance dashboard all these kinds of things right how to sell your private practice how to um, um, new member onboarding as um, subcontractor handbook employee handbook template um, income setting worksheet income and expense tracker dashboard um, how to create stable income in your practice plus you're going to get all of these canva quick start guide how to double your private practice income in less than a month um, ultimate private practice planner lazy therapist guide to booking clients in your instagram stories roadmap how to make eap actually work for your private practice daily focus planner ther therapist brochure templates how to grow your audience fee schedules um, the clients quickly roadmap for therapists the session fee calculator all this stuff right plus a marketing planner and your portal and a lead magnet bundle and you're going to be a, a certified private practice when you come out the other end right plus we've got the we're going to do it together guarantee i'm not going anywhere if if you're not i'm here for the long haul want to make sure that you create success and then poof go on your merry way um again the early bird offer um 997 okay um more social proof there how to know if it's right for you um i don't know if it's not right for you three-step roadmap exclusive member get your calls mentorship from expert help and support the resource resource vault okay all this these bonuses here these inclusions here instant access straight away when you buy it get instant access you're gonna get all your cpd okay um, not a membership or a subscription works for all allied health good to do it if you're still studying or working good if you're in private practice and not seeing the results that you want yet um, this is how you grab it you can get it here just going to type in um, your name great terms and conditions if you want to get the essential forms for private practice you can add that on totally up to you choose your payment plan so you can do split pay and do two pays of 499 you could do early bird split pay and do four lots of 250 or you could do six lots of 169 these all go up in two days time okay and it won't be 997 it will be 1497 so you're saving a third at the moment right you're saving 30 percent saving 500 dollars pop your details in there hit complete order done that's how easy it is so you've got a choice now are you going to keep going the way that you've been going and 
you know, winging it and things like that? Or are you going to allow yourself to get the help and support that you need? Now, the other thing too is that this is the last time that the program is going to be this price. It's never again going to be offered for $999. Um, it will open again. That It opens twice a year. I don't know what I'm going to charge for it next year, but I do know that when it opens, because it will open again in January. Um, January? No, it will open again in six months. So what's that? It's October now, so January January, February, March. So we'll open again in April. <laughs> when it opens in April, the early bird will be one four nine seven. So the real price will probably be closer to about two thousand dollars. Then, okay, it always goes up. Um, you can ask my existing students; like it, it's always going up, up, up. So now would be the time to jump. If you have any questions, though, of course, please let me know because I want to be able to help you with it. I want you to be able to make a decision that feels good for you, that feels right for you. And if there's anything that I can do that would help you make an informed decision, of course, let me know. Somebody was asking earlier today, is the certification course um, like available all year round? It's not. You can only get into it this week. The doors close on Sunday. Um, so early bird offer closes Thursday evening, 8 p.m., and then the doors officially close, I think it's lunchtime on Sunday, and then they don't open again until April. Um, and somebody else was saying, is it tax deductible? Yes, it's tax deductible. It could count towards education. Um, it could count towards your business. If you've got an ABN, you know, um, you can also use the invoice and the receipt for your next tax. So, yeah. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. I'm here to help you. I created this course because I love, love, love helping um, private practice owners get started the right way so that, boom, you can just go off and, and hit the ground running, okay? I love, love, love being a private practice coach as well, but it makes me sad sometimes to see that um, people have been making um, mistakes that could have really just easily been avoided by doing a quick course like this. So I want you to be a success story. I'm here. Um, I'm invested in you. I guess my question is, are you invested in you? And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you inside the program. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.